This feels surreal as I'm taking you on a behind the scenes tour of making the complete air fryer cookbook. Of course you can pre-order it now by heading across to Amazon or head over to our website at recipethis.com and it's the link at the top of the site. So first of all, the photo shoot for the cookbook happened at this beautiful little studio in the town where we live in the north of England and I was over the moon for them to come up to us so we didn't have to travel down to London and then I was still available to be able to pick the kids up from school because as a working mum that was very important to me. The studio was just lovely and it had plenty of space for the photos. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. There was enough room for us all there. For example, just look at the mess on the kitchen worktop because that's taking into account me writing up my own work, the notes from for the food stand as she's cooking the recipes and enough room for both the food stylist her assistant to work Tracy as well as uh, the editor was also there there was me in the studio as well and there was plenty of others there so it was a very big studio and kitchen it did have an amazing room with lots and lots of props but of course with it being a professional photo shoot they brought their own and of course we had plenty of air fryers stacked up waiting to be used as well and I just loved um, all the air fryers going at once I think we had the Kasori we had the Philips air fryer we had the Ninja Foodie in the studio and then we also had the Tower air fryer as well it was just a, a massive a mix of air fryers because some of the air fryer recipes take a while so it gave them chance so that one could be cooking while another one was being photographed and then of course we snuck in a few Aldi ingredients as well because we wanted to show that you can cook cheap food in the air fryer you don't have to spend a fortune so you can see the bread buns that were used from Aldi for the burger recipe for the hot dog recipe potatoes for the wedges as well as peppers from Aldi as well for making the halloumi fajitas halloumi from Aldi as well and then as well as that we had a few bits and bobs that came from Aldi too so it was just brilliant for their ingredients ingredients I think they've got some brilliant stuff so don't be put off with Aldi at all and then of course look at that that is what the halloumi fajitas looked like can you believe that was a photo shoot with Aldi ingredients in the studio I just think that's lovely that we slipped in some Aldi ingredients there and then of course we made some lovely delicious meals that's the beef pot roast that's it in front of the photographer's laptop we also had a few other grates too, just as Becky, our food stylist, is plating up the cherry pie and the pumpkin pie ready for the photo. I mean, that looks amazing. And then this uh, was the southern fried chicken, chocolate chip cookies, because who doesn't love cookies, pizza, the kids tucking into some of the leftovers of the day, the roast chicken dinner, of course, which looked absolutely fabulous leftovers were everywhere we had leftovers for pretty much every meal during the photo shoot time my favorite ones was the Sergio's potato cubes they were amazing and of course in between recipe testing and getting everything photographed the lovely photographer managed to get a picture of me with my favorite savory muffins that we did there as well and then what I also managed to do for you is I've taken you on a tour of all the props that were brought in from London just to show the mix match of everything that was included. We had a big selection going on on the floor and then they were all labelled up so that they knew what recipe each prop was being used for. It was very organised, which it needs to be when you've got a cookbook with 140 recipes in it and you need to style, um, I think it was more than 80 that we photographed. It's like my thing. I just loved all the different little plates and everything that they had going on. There was literally something for everyone to look at and it it was so nice and we also got some of our own accessories for the air fryer and the photos as well I mean I absolutely love the little casserole dishes that are included in the air fryer giveaway uh, that were actually photoed for the self-sourcing pudding 
And then the kids were just as lucky to actually be in the kitchen uh, when the self-sourcing pudding uh, had just been photographed. So they got to eat the leftovers, which they were very happy about. Especially Sophia, she was definitely on the ice cream <laughs> supplies from the pudding. Oh, it was just amazing. So there you have it. That is a tour inside. And of course, don't forget to head over to RecipeThis.com and pre-order yourself a copy. If you pre-order right now, you can also get our time and temp chart and be entered into the giveaway to win our air fryer accessories and a copy of our air fryer, learn your air fryer course. It's just brilliant. There's everything you could possibly need there to be air fryer. You don't need anything else. And that's why we call it the complete air fryer cookbook.